Hello and welcome back. Now then, animals, animals first. No, nope, I've done them already, and oh, we're at quarter past eleven in the morning, just about. Sugar price, what is that like? In fact, that's anything that we've got on hand price. Ooh, that's very good. We did say that we needed to look at that. The, oh, wow. Yeah, and the wheat is on the up as well. That's not super duper, but definitely the um, soybeans are very good. And for once, Hollister stores. Okay, oh, but low note company they are still better right let's take time down because we're going to be traveling we did say that was okay so we want truck as fastest let's just have a run across the road rather than because I would say right, ah there they are brilliant No, the truck isn't so good good for this, to be honest. It doesn't like these when they're full. Oh. So, we need the fastest tractor we've got. So it's not that far away. Ah, actually, no, we did say. I remember now. It actually goes up to 1002, doesn't it? At its very best. Ah, yeah, we've got another three days yet. I'm being a bit previous. So, false alarm. <laughs> right, so, wheat also. Actually, yeah, wheat. Four twelve. That's yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. So look at contracts. Being as we're now okay. Thirty. Oh, twelve fifteen. Ah, 12's down this very road. Where's 15? 12. Oh, wow. Yep, we'll go for both of those. Accept and 15. Accept 18. Oh wow, not far from right, 18 as well then. Brilliant. Right, how full of weight we are, completely as full as you can get. There we go. Lovely. 
So then, 15 do across the road first, it is the closest. Right. Sugar. We'll have a look at the sugar prices as well. Just to make sure. Right, let's set you going. Field 50. 15. Headlands 2. It's a weird shape field. 10%. Can you do that? Or is it going to be a wanna? Yeah, a wanna with weirdness. Okay. Right. So then, oh, that's to put that as a point. I know one of my fields is ready for grass. Let's just have a quick look. The other was still growing. I'm going to do them both the same session. 46 is still growing. Right, okay. And yeah, the others, I might actually get the dark orange if I am lucky. If I'm very lucky. I've got the normal ready to harvest on the windmill field. But field 46 is still growing, growing. Right, so then growth still on 5, 6 and 7 and planted on field 22 that's a point why did I leave you there did I finish you we shall have a look ooh just have a look so to the right did I actually Ah, uh, no I didn't. No, that's definitely not good. So we need... Well, I know I don't normally like doing this in this one, but hey-ho, sometimes the other one's working. So we shall use this. Now then, we have got some in the silo, which is the closest, so let's go grab that. I haven't checked manure. No, that's right. I said we we're going to do that in the morning. But it'll probably be ready in the morning, which I think by the look on that it will. We should get a full, a full two trailer loads. This takes me back. This does. This was one of the first tractors that we had. I remember trundling along the map before we'd got the truck just like this. It just takes me back to those days when we had to get to the fields, which was quite a bit of a trek. I do remember that. Oh, oh yes, now that is something we've been threatening to do for a while. We always say Okay. Field 46 is perfect.
let's say 22 24 meters have we got 22 36 we haven't ok then 22 I would say we can only get away with one then let's try two Oh, I've changed it to 24 meters. That's why. Why did I do that? So I have got 24. Oh, I know why I did it because of the Bandarenti as well. Okay, 22, 24 meters it is then. Of course, at nearest is not a bad idea actually. It, we are in precision farming land, so it's not going to waste any. Right, so then, let us go back to, oh, I always do that, never remember to click on the normal map. Right, let's go grab the grass and stick that in the compost heap. Stop it. It was still my fault though. It should have looked better than that. Now, I played on a new map, um, Hoelfall, Hellfall actually. It's a German map and it, I think it's it's got problems. So I wanted to come on to uh, Lone Oak a bit of sanity where things actually work properly and things actually grow grass I did have a point there but I've, I don't know where I was going with that <laughs> what do you know get to my age and your memory is terribly shocking right oh that was it, it was, it was actually about the compost heap oh Yeah, on that particular map, a lot of things aren't working right. It's, it was only released days ago, and I stupidly, as you do sometimes, it looked a fantastic map. I thought, I'm going to have a go at that. I've got a month before Farmer Simulator 22. Let's give that a good shot. Well, yeah, it, things don't grow. They aren't growing on there. There's a lot of problems. We can only put a maximum of 60 tonnes before any cell point refuses to take any more till the next day per trailer it's it's based upon trailer so yeah you could use another trailer and it would be okay but you can't use a one trailer it, it, it's no good until the next day which is so bizarre but on that I actually had a right proper good go of using the compost heap and obviously to me I've always known that the compost says manure when you grab that out, it doesn't say compost, it says manure. Now, I've never thought anything of that. I thought, oh, that's that's fine, it's just the game class as manure. But I've never tried to sell it anywhere else where it sells it as compost, so I'd like to do that just to see if there's something wrong or whether I've missed part of the compost. If I've just got the compost heap and I'm supposed to do something else and there's a mo another module to it. Because this always says manure and always has, so to me that's just exactly what's right. But I'm not sure it is, so I am going to take a load to somewhere that says compost on here. The symbol for compost being that one there. So according to this, AgriXJS will give me 169. So if we just take a thousand litres, we should get 169 if this map reads compost as, as manure. So I, I would literally 
say, because I've never done it before, that map pay is terrible for manure, so I've always, most maps have got good manure prices, so I've always just gone, oh, I don't care, I'll do it as manure. On that one, manure's terrible. It doesn't even do it at the BGA. It's, it's sort of um, got a couple of special sell points, which are terrible. I mean, the most awful pricing you could ever ask for for manure. So I thought, oh, well, this is compost, really. I know it says manure, but I thought, no, let's let's do that. And then I hauled down on it literally because it was one of the few places that took manure on the map and the price is awful. I went halfway across the map for the worst price I'd ever got for 60 tonnes of anything. So I was gutted, as you would be. So I'd like to test it on this, even if it's just grabbing a thousand litres. Answers my question about where the milling machine is. Oh, brilliant! It bright in itself, though. That is absolutely amazing. See, always it's always a newer. So I'm. Let's go try it. Nearly five late five thousand. That was excellent stopping. Excellent. God and Benny, that was rubbish. This will be the true test because if this doesn't buy manure, which it won't do normally, he says. Just make sure. Do your homework before making any assumptions. AgriXJS does not buy manure. Slurry yard, the biogas plant does, and so does. The manure sell point, which of course, yes, you would have thought that would have bought manure. So, let's see, do you buy compost? No, you don't. You register as manure. So then I'm going to have to do my homework on this. I must have not. It's activated, but I reckon there must be a second module. Now, the fact that it's got compost on the maps as sell points... I'm going to have to read up about this, because I'm obviously getting the wrong end of the stick. Okay. Beautiful. We will, though, while we're here. You know, I love fertilising and precision farming on. This is just phenomenal. I do feel a bit cheaty, but oh, really. Ah, you are right. That's typical. I decide to run, and you're at the furthest point away on this field that possibly exists. Oh well, it's good exercise. Ha ha. <laughs> right. Oh, that's better. Perfect, perfect. That's all I've seen. So, oh, bad there, but that could be down to. Why are you so bad there? But quite, it does look like proper banding, doesn't it? Looking at it. We'll switch it on anyway, though, just in case we go over any spots that. Yeah. That's... Well, I'm not very pleased with that. It's 24 metres spread. It's missing loads. That's rubbish. Wow. Okay, let's manually fix this. So it's only these little bits of orange that you can see. About three strips, but that's still bad. Why should it make a field that's rubbish? 
and there's a bit over there. Let's do this properly. A little corner. Must remember to knock this back to 36 meters as well. There's another strip. She'll have to destroy that course and try that again. That's well bad. See, that doesn't look like that. Looks more like 18 meters to me. I wonder if I've got this set to 18 meters, not 24. Which now that would explain why that actually did that. further down than that. I have got an arrows on. I can't dam not that I could damage it anyway, but for realism's sake, I could actually scoot on the edge. Technically. Field 12 is next on our list. Yeah, we can beat you, definitely. 100%. I'm absolutely sure. I do need to indicate because there is a car. So that's some homework on the compost heap and the compost mod to see why that's not working properly. I always always wondered, ever since I did start using it, why it said manure instead of compost, but never thought anything of it. I thought, oh, perhaps the game classifies it, but having always sold it as manure, I've never really worried. are outwards, I think inwards, it makes more sense that it's inwards, thank goodness I was right, that would have been nasty, Why I, had I been wrong, right, cross generation, field 12, let's try 2, I think we might get away with 2 on this one, yes, very nice, First, delete. Go. Right. Where do we want. Oh, wow. This is really good with this. That's another thing. I, I was doing a bit of this work with another trailer, and you really do appreciate the trailers that are good with the milling machine. It's not every trailer. Some really are not very good with the milling machine. I had one that was sort of okay until it got to 90 odd percent, which is about the norm. Most trailers will load that way, and then they start sputtering once they get to 90 plus percent. And whereas these, they'll go right to the end, and so do my other go to the. Uh, no, my word brain. I'm so tired. My favourite, which, how can you have a favourite that you can't remember the name? 
<sighs> the Fiend Hughes. Yes, that one. Such a favourite. I can't remember its name. Well, to be honest, I, am, I have... Ooh. Okay. We'll do that until you can't fit anymore. <laughs> never, never seen it do that before. Not that well. I know it's got a range on it, but it's never picked up something. It has done little things before, plenty of times, which is annoying. But I suppose it saves me filling that up in a minute. Wow. Yeah, you see, there was no trouble filling this up to ninety-nine percent, literally. 44, 45, now that is useful. Wow. What are we on? We're on right, so we need to spin our old way of doing a loop and coming in. Yeah, the other thing I had an awful lot of trouble with was I've got this same planter, because it is my favourite. I used to love using that. So I've I thought let's use the same one because it's got such versatility if you've been able to do all of the f the different seeds and plants types I thought let's do that right, we need to give this a bit of a boost let's put it on 120 very briefly that should truthfully really process that quickly so we can do the other one this is our main 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 task so processing quickly. Mind you it is so is time going quickly so you would expect that. 1918. Two, eight, seven, four, three, two, gone. Right, lovely. Let's grab that other one which was very nicely filled for it. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm not complaining. Yeah, so it's nice to come on a map where everything works as it should. It was horrific. Let's change tip side. So I'm going to swing. Oh no, I think I could have made it actually, but it's much better this way. There's more room. It's, I mean, you can get away with it with a tractor as good as turning as this with all wheel steer, but it's still still a bit tight. Spoil this tractor. It's, I really do like this. Stick on 60 because we've got a load as well. Sometimes if, if you're a little too quick, it deregisters the second thing, even though it very briefly flashes the first thing, and you actually end up losing your trailer or other attachment. I've got to be a little bit more consistent and let the message register for a fraction of a second more. Because there was quite a few times recently where it registers, flicks, you, you press attach, and it actually detaches because the system doesn't seem to have quite registered. It, it seems to take a second, a proper second, and I sometimes do it instantly, which is quite surprising that I can be that quick, but yeah, definitely got to give it a little bit longer to register. Right, oh wow, filled this quite well, should be a good biogas. Whoa. 
You were just saying how good the steering was and you crashed into a wall. Yeah, well, that is a driver error. Whoa, Lancer behind me. You are a train wreck this morning. I don't know. Just can't get the staff. Right, how are we doing? Ooh, perfect. With loading time, 60 is about spot on. No, don't fill me up again. I was going to use the other one. You're going to fill me up, aren't you, with your excess? I can see what you're going to do, milling machine. I can see you've got me honed in. Oh, oh, now I've got away with it. Still two loads. Must remember if I get the Fent GT message that that contract is to knock the time down, I don't want it to be going sixty times. I'm only doing that for processing this. Well, I'm nearly done actually. Let's knock that down. That's doing the other one again, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh dear, that thing is just lethal. But amazing. It is absolutely. Haha. <laughs> Mr. Silly P, uh, well, he, I no, he did actually release it not long back. His favourite 10 mods, and um, that was one of them, and I have got to be honest, I equally think that it is. It is an amazing sort of thing, and I would definitely put it up there with that as well. I've used it often, frequently, as a milling machine, uh, as a milling machine, which it is, as um, a loading wagon, a, a cheap man's loading wagon. I've called it on this Let's Play lots of times, and I really do stick to that. It is absolutely phenomenal for that. Yes, it's got its drawbacks, but if you if you know that. Uh, it's also got so many advantages over a loading wagon that, and look, when like us, when you've got starting on a shoestring, people say it's uh, cheaty, but apparently there are actually things that do do this as well. Right, what else we've got then? So it was field 12, 18, and I think that's it, wasn't it? 15. Okay, got three, didn't I? I did. Collect, collect, and this is the small one. Okay, now uh, that, yeah, let's have a look that away. Nope, I'll find that away. Let's wait for this car. So, actually, for this one, we need to go down to the sawmill. There's a sawmill into that one. Does it do more than? Yeah, it is lumber. I see it on the see the writing on the wall as the saying goes. We it use its proper road as well. We don't need to indicate because there's nothing near us. Remind me which one is field eighteen. I know we're near it. Ah, not quite in the right place. It's one to the left over there. Okay. 
glad we've got the truck. Oh, I did put it down enough. Wasn't sure I'd quite got that right. Come on, you deserve an absolute wash. You are absolutely ditched, and I mean absolutely. Oh, have I not re? I haven't re-sprayed really that one. I can see that silver on. That's quite bad. I can see some muck on your mud guard, as we English call them. Is it fenders or is that bumpers in America? No, I think it, I don't know if you still call them mud guards. It's weird, isn't it? English language, but Americans and English people both say different words for different things. Come on, there's still a touch left. I'm not going until I can see you as good as you get. Well, maybe that is then. Maybe that is as good as it gets. Right, this is definitely a thin field, so this I reckon will be just one. Course generation, figure 18. Try to, but you're going to change it to one, I know. Yeah, lovely. Start that first. And then we want to be back over there. Let's just switch them off. Can always switch them on. I've got used to it's weird. I've got used actually to having them switched off now, so you can see your tractors all the time. This map taught me quite a lot. I'd never used the map to its full potential before, but when I was looking for my tractor for about seven or eight minutes once on this very let's play, I thought, you know, and then it was then that I started to switch off the map icons. Now I do it all the time. It's weird, isn't it? How some things click. I considered, consider myself an advanced user because of how long I've been playing Farming Simulator and yet I was I was thinking about that very thing yesterday actually about an advanced and I, I think I've, I'm not sure I've said it on this let's play I always play start from scratch well I want to say always most of the time I don't know one always does something but it is my most frequent and what I really enjoy the challenge of the start from scratch but I have a nasty problem when I start to get to the stage that I am at now where you've got really good tractors really good equipment or or you can do everything I seem to lose heart and yet there are really advanced things that you can do that I never never sort of think of it's sort of as if I love the challenge of it and then I'd like to think, oh, yeah, I'm there now. And I'm not, not really. I've got to, got to sort of make the switch in my head of where I'm going to do more advanced things. As soon as I can start to earn 400 grand in a day or things like that, which when your farm gets really good, it's not impossible money. I seem to think, oh, I'm there, that's it when I've got a few nice, you know, as many fields as I want on seasons and that type of thing, I've got to get my head around these more advanced things and I think into the little things as well that would make the game I, I've got my head in the wrong place is what I'm trying to say, definitely without a shadow of a doubt, right no, don't drop it there once you start chucking stuff in, that's going to, oh really didn't want to do that. I suppose it's better than it chucking it on the floor though. Oops, my bad. Right, we need to process, so let's stick with the speed to 120 briefly. Yeah, so I've got to try and change the way that I think because it's the way that I think that's wrong. I think the challenge is all over, and really it's not. It's, there's a lot of end game things where it's not about making money quickly anymore. And I'm one of the first to say that, but at some level, 
I'm definitely definitely not right I want to be moving on to the next let's play to do the challenge side of it all over again rather than rather than stay and enjoy let's just finish that strip off though I'm not gonna perfect wow one percent one percent used for all of those contracts do you know I really do feel like I'm cheating I know I'm not I don't know there's nothing I can do it must be that those crops are all good because I do know on the odd crop there are some that actually do cane the fertilizer so I know it really is down to actually actually let's leave this here because you never know there could be contracts in this area tomorrow and taking that down to somewhere else let's have a look ooh 120 yep that'll do me so let's go oh digestate let's have a look what's nice to be able to look at the digestate what price are we getting 608 hmm it's a bit mediocre I need these in the morning, aren't we? Yeah, let's leave it. We'll just leave it for a day or two. We're not in a rush. We don't need the the money desperately. That's another thing I think I mentioned a few episodes ago. Was I've got to get better at great demands and also looking at the price of things. I have a tendency to think, yeah, that's good enough. It's not. Very rarely do I. I nearly always miss out on the great demands because I'm so quick on trying to sell things immediately as soon as the price is okay yeah there's definitely areas that I've got still to improve on is that still growing isn't it yeah it's not grown by tomorrow morning it will be I love the cricket sounds on this the bird song at night, it's beautiful. Right, so 8, 15, 12 hours till 8, 15. 48,000, brilliant. Oh, that's another thing that doesn't work as well. Passive income. I bought the radio tower, which cost me 40,000, which was, I was getting really low money, and it cost me my last 40,000, and I must have used must have been on that let's play for three or four days and it didn't tick up a single bit so I'm literally I was doing contracts to survive it's really bizarre because you obviously had I have known that I wouldn't have buried 40,000 into a passive income I would have just waited so yeah it's quite amazing it's you realize I've always said about passive income I've got two forms on this one the um water tower and the windmill and I tell you this much as I said I've always said I don't want it to the passive income to be so good that it's amazing and that that's what's winning things for you but I do like it to bring in your wages and fertilizers and seeding money is what I, is the real purpose that I do it for now why have I got a judder in Usually when course plays going mad, but the course plays not actually active. Could be something on my computer, probably scanning or something silly. Right. So then, let's have a look. Ah, it's on the up at the slurry yard. Let's wait and see what happens with that during the day. Let's have a look at. Oh yeah, first things first. I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go and do the animals, but I'm also going to take the trailers and grab the manure because that will probably be two-ish usually by the second day it's absolutely chocker and I can fill two trailer loads so I'm not even going to look I'm going to go on the norm let's grab these two trailers and let's grab that as well now then watch with the paintwork on that car this does add a whole new
Right, I think doing this is probably going to be the last thing I do because my time has just gone and I'm going to try to be good for once and get not too much. I'm going to finish this last job so I know where I am but apart from that I'm going to be good. Ooh, that's a bit tight with having the milling machine on as well. Let's grab that first and then we'll grab that back. That is definitely a tight angle. Now that is another thing about the other map that I was telling you about. It really has got... Oh, it is a nightmare. It's got signposts that have collisions every 20 foot. And every turn it's got them up opposing you. So if you're in a big wagon you're going to clock it one. Oh my life was I... Any major journeys you take you're like... Oh, stop. Yeah, that's full as well, isn't it? That's yeah, we will do that as well, because that is another task. Let's start the engine on this, and we'll do it after the animals. And I know it doesn't take that long to start up, but... In fact, yeah, it'll be done now. Let's do it properly. It's only a quick job just moving those. Now then, what is sugar at now? Ooh, on the up, but that one's at 821. What is the best, the good price for sugar? Never looked at that on this map. Well, this is new to me anyway, sugar, really. It's... Hmm, it's about, that's about, about the norm then, so... Yeah, we're not really going to get, unless we've got a great demand, which I'm certainly not waiting for that, even though I know I've just been on about it. I don't rely on them, you can't, can you? chance of you getting a great demand for your product you're waiting for is silly especially when you've got so much sugar as we've got at the minute I was a bit worried there I was going to grab the others Do you know, it seems to be a day for crashing into things I think what I'll do when I do take these, which I, I am going to take my own medicine, I'm not going to wait for a great demand. I think what I'm going to do is grab the um, trailer and extend it to 50 foot length to get this lot on. I know it's going to be a bit bad, but hopefully it'll be across the road will be the one that we get a reasonable price for. I don't know, still clocked it. Really? Where is my head today? Where is it? We are indeed. So next session I shall be mowing. We shall be cutting some grass. I must get into the habit. Look, I've not done any spraying. Oh, I've really got to get better at that. On this Let's Play I've hardly ever sprayed. I've only done it about twice. Herbicide in. Shocking. Yeah, trees are still tiny. One of these days they'll shock me and then I'll go into the second growth stage. That would be nice. Because it's not, I don't ever expect on seasons to see them anything really beyond the second growth stage. I don't think I ever had. Have. It takes so long to grow. Wow. Lovely to hear the birds singing. Right. Do 
Isn't it lovely sometimes? You do take for granted the, the beauty of things. The sounds of things are sometimes so wonderful. Sometimes it's just nice to shut up and listen. It really is. Right. And on that note... Let's get this in first. We'll get it starting to grab the manure. And then we'll start... That. Let's grab the water. Let's get that going first, because that does take a while. And it's getting low. 45. Well, that's not exactly low, but it's definitely as low as I like it to get. We still have got 100. Yeah, we have no births yet then. So no milk. Must be getting close, though, to some being giving birth. You now it's early summer, I'm sure. Yeah, I think it was two or three days in. Let's pull wide a little. Don't know if that's made things worse or better. Hmm. Yeah. Now then I could climb this. Now we all know I can't, but just so as it's sort of, you know. Now then did I have I got enough? Ooh. I don't think so, but we'll have a go. I think it's going to... Yeah, it'll definitely need more than that. And that's four stump. Let's four stump that bit of manure. I believe that was the lethal milling machine that did that to me last time. Front left. That's four stump you. Brilliant. Right, total max ration. Oh, I forgot I need to run up with this. Oh, I missed the boat, didn't I? Got to give it a right good run up. It's not quite got the power to get up that bit of a hill. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you definitely can do it. Ration. Let's see how you're doing. Yeah. Let's try and get that in a bit straighter. It's a bit bad. Can I? I think I'm going to need to let's lift that. Let's go to the right. the gate behind me. No, I'm not. Must be, ah, I'm hitting the manure itself behind my wheels. It's giving me a bit of resistance. I do like to get this manure heap down in order. These ethereal cows. That would be a lovely feature if the cows. Are, I know they're improving the animations in FS22. If the actual cows did sort of know your location and avoided you, the fact that they sort of ghost like and that they walk through you is a. If you, especially if you're trying to create content, but even even for all of us, to be honest, it's no different. It is nice to go for that, the more realism. Obviously it's a game and we all know it's a game, but... Right, let's grab that. Let's go forwards a torch. Let's do the back section. Why are you not registering? Hmm, not registering. 
bizarre. Let's set this going again. Must remember that. Oh, I won't remember. We'll have to fill the trailer. I'll have to get that next time I come to empty the manure from here. Let's see if I can do a better job of pulling in this time. Now then, don't you think about making room for it. Oh, the machine's deciding it's... I don't know if I go tightly to the right, I should get you in about right. I leave you. Let's go and we would climb under, I think. Oh, well, we might climb. We certainly wouldn't jump. So just pretend that was me not jumping. Right, let's spin this around, and then we need to do the straw, which also is getting low, if I remember rightly. I love the fact you can do this from outside. It's amazing. We need to go. It's not far off here. It needs to be. Right, so that's it. Let's go and grab that. Far off. The only thing I want to know is when this goes above this, there's been times it's sort of said it was almost double this, but when you empty this like 96,000 litres out, it, you can't see any more sort of like disappears and then if you took it away probably a few hours later it may actually then register the rest but I've never come back later in the day to see if that's true it doesn't start to pole out so you could get the other half because there has been I remember one time I, it was this let's play as well where I said oh let's just drop the milling machine while we get spin around Oh my god, I think I've hit the gate. Whoops. Come on, you can do better than that. Watch the gate. Right, let's spin that. And then spin it out a little bit. level up. That should be not far off. Let's just grab the middle machine now. Oh dear, spun that around a bit bad, didn't I? It's going to be fun to get hold of. Mm. Let's see if we can push it around. Trying to push it back. Oh, I'm going into the wood. Let's see if we can grab that. Oh, I think we need a bit of a wash ourselves. Definitely. to the right. I'm not quite going to clear that at the back, I don't think. Let's just watch as close to that as possible. Let's just about make it. Oh. 
when I say just about, I mean not quite. <laughs> That's a bit of a paint scrape job, that one. Not my best. It wasn't terrible. It could have been worse. Oh, I think I need to clear the gate a bit more than that. Once. Not always good at registering that. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Let's go grab the... I might need to fill this. I know it was getting low. It was really low if I remember rightly. Oh, no it is. Yeah, I thought I'd filled it then. I'll let go of. That is really low. One thing I love about those is the fact that you can actually see what's pretty much in them. Actually, I don't know. Have I got... Oh no, there's more in it than I thought. Well, yeah, I think that's easily going to do it. We will need to do it soon, though. The next day or two, I should say. Right, we're going to race this up our road. And that's where we're going to leave it. That's The animals are all done. What did that say? I've got 20,000? Yeah, still got 20,000 manure left. Wow. So maybe by tomorrow I might almost get two more. Almost. Well, completely, but... Now then, just remember. I have got... I can refuel at this place. I always remember back down at the uh, BGA. It's, I suppose it's old habits, isn't it? You get used to doing something on a map in a certain place, and that's what eventually clicks naturally. The fuel point at the farm, we've not always had it, and... Whoa. I don't overuse this, but this is definitely one thing that I would like to do. Okay. Oh, okay. Is it not something I'm allowed to hide? Or am I not getting the right... Oh. Wow. Cannot find... Okay then. That's not being hidden. <laughs> it refuses to be registered. I could... There is another thing. I did think of another way to hide it. It's a little bit unorthodox, but... And it will cost me to raise the floor level in a wider area so it doesn't look like it's that wide because it is a bit of a pain that is only that the first one the second one's fine it's never in your way but that you've always got to avoid it I wish I could chop it but I was thinking of using the map objects hider I don't use it very often on let's plays but certain objects are always annoying like that tree we did over by the letterbox in the house that wouldn't let us chop it, which obviously if you be in, in real life there's no tree that's going to refuse to be chopped. So yeah, I don't really think that type of thing is unrealistic because if it was, if I was being realistic it would allow me to chop it with a uh, with a chainsaw. So yeah, I don't think that's unrealistic. And things like that I could in real life chop it back and I would. So again, if you, the, the mechanics won't allow you any other way, I think the map objects had is an absolute fantastic new addition. Yeah, I'm starting to get that uh, feeling now with with being within the final month of FS19. A way you're thinking about the mod you use and realizing base game. I know it's going to be different, and none of us really know what we're going to get and all that type of stuff. But yeah, it's starting to think about all my favourite mods and the ones I'm going to miss enormously um, yeah I'm wondering what it'll all mean so yeah definitely let's put that there and that 
that's is where we're going to leave it. This is a job for another day. Let's just check the prices though before we say that. I don't see we're missing a good price on things. Sugar is as good as it gets always. So we want to look at soybeans. Oh, we should check that out. It's in the, the best three days, and wheat is okay. Oh, no, I was on the right one. Oh, I've still got some grass to put in. Quite a lot, actually. Right. Okay. Yeah, well, sugar canes. Good for sugar. We're not doing anything with that. Oh, the 1,166. Yeah. Wheat's definitely still terrible. Right, we're going to do that now. I know it's a bit of a pain, but I know what it's like. I'm going to forget tomorrow. Sometimes you've got to go with a little bit. You've got to allow yourself. This is going to be a bit of a longer session, but I know what it's like. You sometimes forget the little things like that, and then you go, and the the day moves on, and you've lost that one-time opportunity to... I know it's not a great demand, but it's still one of the best prices you're going to see. Let's put that up to 60. In fact, 120, to be honest, because we're literally grabbing the next trailer and then going... It's weird, isn't it? You sort of, when you've got a new game coming out, there's I think it's good to look at the game that you're playing still and appreciate all of the things. And I suppose that's what I'm really trying to say. It's the appreciation for all of the mods and all of those modders, all of the map makers out there that have really made this game. As much as Giants, I mean, it's Giants games, we all know that, but let's be honest, the modders have really, I think the modders have actually spurred Giants on to do a better job as well, because even they must realise how, what a good a community we have got. Some of the standards of the modders and the maps and the mods themselves, yes, I know there are some mods that are a bit, but then you try making a mod. That's something I've got the utmost respect for, to be honest, for even those mods that are a little bit not so good, that eventually the modder will get really good and make huge improvements. There are very few mods that are terrible, unless, of course, it's right in the beginning of the mod's life, which you expect. Well, if you've got any common sense, you would expect. Oh, no. Really? Milling machine is lethal. <laughs> that's that's not one of its best things. Although it is and it isn't. It's yeah. In situations like that, it's one of those annoying things. But it is still amazing. Yeah, it's things like that, isn't it? Fantastic mods that we sort of take for granted. I am. Um, I would seriously miss the big bag handler until it's. I'm sure the the modders are already working hard in trying to make these things uh, happen but yeah it's the certain mods that you you sort of think I can't live without that that is just phenomenal big bag handler milling machine what brilliant um, trailers like these ones uh, even my faithful Venus, um tree maverick that's another one that seriously is absolutely amazing that that more than likely be gone from the base game Right, anyway, so we want 
soybeans. Just more than one. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a challenge. Uh, that's another thing I nearly always play start from scratch, so therefore I'm always playing with mods like the second hand equipment mod because it is realistic. Farmers would use second hand equipment if you were trying to do what, what I do, which is start from scratch. But you can't do that. So I, I probably will as well. The very first game I may well play, which will be nice for a change, because I nearly always go for the start from scratch so often. And there are some times when it is a pain I have got to be honest, like, I think it was Marwell Manor when I played Start From Scratch. I love the layout of the farm and all the buildings that you get, but you only get that in the base game. You don't get it in Start From Scratch. So I bought the farm with Start From Scratch, went there, and all it was was an empty wasteland. You think, ah, oh, that, that's disconcerting. I really do wish that map makers would allow you when you start from scratch so that if you purchase the farm later on it's still got all the buildings it's what am i doing why am i coming in here that's that's habit that's because i'm talking yeah i really would would do like that so it is nice to play like new farmer definitely um a mode i don't play very often now but yeah i shall actually probably look forward to doing that on my first content creation definitely i'm, I'm quite looking forward to doing it differently and shaking it up a little bit because obviously I will not have the money oh I've left that on 120 for way too long oh hate that when you do that literally waste the whole day the fact you can do that empty both of those at the same time fantastic oh, I'm annoyed about that oh well it is what it is we did actually achieve the, the work that we wanted to do I could have got some contracts in that's one thing on this particular let's play certainly that's brilliant that is 71,000 on this I do need a proper sprayer that's fantastic that is as a starter sprayer mind you with the amount that I've used it. Did I do the spraying on the main fields? I feel sure I did. Hmm. That says otherwise. Yeah, I think we need to be doing that. Yeah, I know the grass has grown fully now. That will be our next job, like, next time. Should have left these in there, shouldn't I? Very rarely bring these down here. Let's leave them like near this tree line. Yeah, I think what we are going to do is we'll go to sleep and oh no, we'll go to sleep. Oh, that's a point. Have we got any? Do you know? For once, I don't care. Yeah, we've got some to tide us over till the morning. Oh, got one full molasses and another. Does it do more than one on the molasses side? Oh, it does. Right. Yeah. So we'll we'll top that up in the morning. Oh, gee, I don't know. Go on, it's a quick job, that, isn't it? Let's just get these silly little jobs that take time. Because tomorrow we've got grass cutting and mowing and probably do a bit of contracting as well. So, yeah, let's... Just want one. It's got 27,000 in, so it's only going to need I think just under 48,000. We'll grab a full trailer. And we'll do the, the animals in the morning, and that's where we'll leave it. Oh, so it has got compost literally in there as a, as a thing, so... I'm going the wrong way again, aren't I? We need a bit of lime actually at some point for that. Oh, talk about go the wrong way. I think I've gone the the 
the longest way round. It was probably three or four up, and I went down. Well, the other way round, I went right, and it was left. I don't know. Sometimes. Yeah, so we're going to go to sleep, do the animals, and we're going to leave it at that point, so that next time I play, we're at a perfect spot to get some work done. Cause preparation, that is the name of the game, isn't it? We're going to need these probably for something else. Let's just tip that in. Whoa! Without tipping it over, hopefully. I've already done that once today. These are super duper for though being untipped. Very good. Yeah, we don't need to. We should leave that. Then we should go to sleep. 12 hours. Then we should go to the animals. Oh, we had forgotten that. We've got some biogas. Right, let's look. Let's just check the slurry yard out. I'm not doing it. No matter what. I don't care how good it is. I'm going to have to try and remember next time. If it is. Oh. It's it's not bad. It's it goes up to six three something unless it's on a great demand. So yeah, I'll grab that next time. Let's grab the animals. That's the one thing. Now we're on precision farming. You see, I remembered for once. Okay. I'm not going to go out. I was going to go up and say I'm going to fill that up, but it's raining. That's not necessarily the best thing to do when it's raining. I can't remember how good this is at reverse. It's not bad. Slow, but not we expect that. Yeah, brilliant. Lovely. And that is where we're going to leave it. Quite a productive day. Our money's up. I say, I think I would like to get another sprayer. I've got to start paying more attention to that. And if I get a bigger one, I think one my go to on a map of this kind of calibre would be the big one. Big Fernland, I love that IX track, IX track T4, that is amazing, it really is, and it's going to take a chunk out, and for once I'm going to buy it new as well, literally can increase the spread on that too, is it 40, yeah 40 metres, brilliant, how much are the other ones, because there's only 4 metres in it, and all oh my life, yeah, mm -mm -mm. pay more, get less, yeah, I'll stick to my Kvernland. I do like that an awful lot. Yeah, I love the Oppo though. It's fantastic as a as a starter at the beginning when you again start from scratch. It's that mentality you need starting equipment. It doesn't necessarily have to be the best. Time is in your thing. You can do your own farm work if it takes you to an extra hour or two hours longer. Does that really matter at the beginning when you've only got a couple of fields? Not really. When, of course, when you start like we have at present, we have got... Have I not completed on that? I haven't, have I? <laughs> oh well. Some decent fertilising jobs for next time. Yeah, so, when you've got... Let's do that again. So it's just my information. We've got field 22 now and 46 and we've got all of that field. 5, 6 and 7. We're starting to rack up the fields. Um, I'm saving up now for 
what I spent a long time at Field 13 and that is a massive nearly just under 800,000 so that is going to take some time to build up to that and as we're buying things like the sprayers that's going to take even longer but you've, this is this is part of the expansion you've got to do and it really is to expand the farm to the point where you've got the wow I've got Field 13 the weeds on that wow mine even with spot weeding is not that bad but yeah I mean we've got five fields now not including my little tiny one on the windmill so that's that and they, oh, that needs ploughing and so does field five so yes I mean yeah I still think we're doing fantastic but at the beginning that little 15 metre well 17 metre really is fantastic and if you've just got one field like field seven or six or five it's perfect it is but once you start to if you need to spray your fields to go around all of those would take ages and um, when you consider anybody's play session whether you're content creating or just playing on your own that's probably a night's work or one play session's work even with a decent sprayer so yeah that's when it starts to become a little bit more when your fields are like that because each task takes a long time and then equipment either whether it's again it's equal you could get two oppos and you could have two 17 meters and you could probably that's a combined thing of 34 meters so there is that argument as well but then you've got equal the argument of we've got two sets of wages which you've always got to take into consideration I often use smaller equipment because it's more stable which is why I stopped using the 12 metre planter that I've got because it is, it's got instabilities especially when used with workers that used to drive me crazy so I went to 6 metres or 8 so um, the last one I've been using is a 4.5 you get no trouble with stability you can travel down a road perfectly well and if you really want you can buy 3 of them which is over 13 and a half meters which is bigger than most but the bad side of that is even if you're using a team of small tractors you've got three times the wages so again there is something to be said for going for larger equipment if you can afford it because it's it's large and you're only paying one wage once you've offset the cost of the equipment then in some ways bigger is sometimes still better I, I, I've got to say that but of course you've got got to offset against the cost of the equipment that can run big stuff so there are certain pieces of equipment where you need a 500 plus horsepower tractor and if they cost 500,000 plus you've also got to think that I need a 500 horsepower tractor which is going to be an, a huge chunk of change how many times could I pay my li three little tractors wages to do the same job with my small equipment versus buying the 500 horsepower monster that's going to cost me 700 grand? You've got to offset that. It could be an entire let's play. So then it becomes about a choice that we want the monster, not that we need it. So yeah, it's, it is. It's all swings and roundabouts, preference. Um, there's a certain amount... As a, as a player or content creator where certain pieces of equipment stress you out that's again the planter that I'm using on this let's play and on my other let's play it does stress you when the workers go weird and try to snake with it and I'm trying to I'm trying to persevere with it this time so I'd like to see if it's possible through using course play the right kind of course creation as to whether we can get them to work with workers and if I master that on this let's play that would be brilliant because it is my favourite of all planters the 12 metre I love it, I think it's fantastic that you can it's it's no, it's cultivate well no-till and fertilisers and seeds with a decent tank size it's a decent all rounder, absolutely amazing um, planter that does all all crop types but except for potatoes which nothing else does potatoes other than potato planters so again it does everything it is amazing so yeah I'd love to master that so that I can think yes I've got my favourite piece of equipment yes it's got its foibles but I know how to deal with them that is a good place to be anyway that's enough waffling from me oh wow the manure is up to 65,000 again still two days though it seems to be two days to fill that up to, to get two 
complete things as we get some bursts though that's going to shoot up where I should say almost every full day or a day and a half you probably completely fill two trailers which will be a nice place to be anyway with no further ado I'm going to say thank you very much for um, continuing on this journey with me and I hope you do continue to its end please by all means leave any comments about um, what you think should be the ending things for this and yes I know I've said it it's, it is true I still think there's plenty of life left in this at the minute but you do have to realise that sometimes that an end does come and it's I personally would like it to be 500 cows in the in there which is at least two years away and yeah anything else that anybody else thinks please by all means leave comments uh, guidance any advice gratefully received and comments I will read and hopefully respond to because I'm not exactly inundated so anyway with no further ado thank you very much for continuing on this journey with me and I hope you do continue with me and I'm going to say goodbye for now.